Hey, Perry here, uh, doing another unboxing. Um, today we are gonna unbox this um, QSC Touch Mix 8. And this um, mixer is going to go into Bandshare A. Um, I mostly use this band share, band share A for my uh, own band, um, but um, I also have other bands that use it once in a while. Um, but we're going to be testing this out, the, these products out uh, with my own band to get kind of a real up close and uh, personal uh, view or listen to them all. This is a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. It didn't look this big <coughs> on the uh, in the advertisements. Um, comes with a nice case. You can see it's um, ooh, that's really nice. Um, carrying case. So that's a nice bonus with these QSC mixers. It looks really solid. It's you know it's got hard uh, foam inserts in there, and so that's why I thought it was bigger than it was because the case actually uh, houses the mixer and then some accessory cabling here. This is what it looks like. Um, the mixer that I have now in there is a Mackie DX8, which is a similar idea to the QSC Touch Mix 8, although this doesn't require that you have an iPad. Uh, the DX8 does. And um, luckily I had an extra iPad, but if you don't have an iPad, this is a really nice um, option because you don't need one. It just got has the touch mix capability right, right built into it. Um, so yeah, this case comes with the mixer, and then I'm assuming it's just a power cord in here. Oh, it's got a it's it has a big wall wart type thing, which you know saves space in the mixer. They don't have to condition the power inside the mixer, but then you have to deal with this wall wart type of thing, which is you know, not a big deal in a rehearsal uh, type situation. It might be a little, you know, you know in, a, in a club, you'd have to figure out where to hide it, uh, but um, for my purposes, a wall wart's just fine. Um, does look like it's pretty beefy, which means, you know, the handling of the power should be very stable, um, and uh, that's important. In this industrial area around here, uh, we do get power surges and spikes, so it's nice to know that your, your gear is protected. Um, so let's just see here. I'm going to plug this in and just kind of go over some of the features that I can see. As far as I know, it's fairly straightforward. It's um, a mixer with all the standard uh, EQs, and I, I'm not sure, but I would imagine there's some built-in compression. I'm gonna plug this in. The thing I do notice here that it that the DX8 doesn't have is it does have phantom power here, which is great because the microphones that I'm going to be using are actually uh, condenser mics, which is different for um, live vocal situation. Uh, usually you use 
um, dynamics, dynamic microphones. So I'm curious to see how that all works. So we'll plug it in. There are a couple USB ports back here. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe to update the firmware. There is a I'm imagining that that has some, this little USB thing has some uh, things that, that you can access, maybe different plugins or stuff like that. Um, so this is what it looks like when you turn it on. And uh, looks like you can just touch this and, and move the fader. Network since successfully created or joined. Power removed unexpectedly. Okay, I don't know why that happened. Um, so yeah, so there's the master fader there. And uh, then mute, it's got mute. Um, then augs. Oh, so that's cool. You press the augs button and then you can turn whatever auxiliary uh, reverb or, or yeah I would imagine reverb or delay um, not sure how the compression or EQ works on there but um, effects masters hmm. there's a lot of stuff in here to go over but uh, I'll be plugging this in and testing it with my system um, it's got looks like it's got three or four uh, XLRs that are that can also be used with um, quarter inch TRS so if you want I, I would assume you can put well I know you can you could put a instrument right in there like a guitar or a keyboard uh, using your XLR inputs and then it's got four that are just XLR um, which is really cool. Um, it's got four auxiliary outputs on the back. So I'm guessing you can put uh, maybe some compressors or some outboard uh, effects units there. In there. It's got a left and right, which is XLR which should work really well with the new speakers that I'm getting. Just a standard um, XLR mic uh, microphone cable will uh, feed into the speakers. It's got a phones output. It's got a couple, it's got a stereo in right here. Stereo in so you could plug in iPods or uh, any uh, auxiliary inputs that you have that are in stereo. It's got a standby uh, button, um, so I have to check that out, but maybe if you're getting feedback, you can just put it on standby and it'll turn off. Um, it's got mute groups, so you can, looks like you can set mute groups, effects mute, um, and then it's got uh, Uh, master fader here, which I'm not sure what you can do there. It's got a fine, you press the little button here on the side and then it has fine tuning. So you can really, really fine tune your um, different uh, levels. Um, so I have a lot to look into and go over um, on this. Um, but uh, it looks really cool. So we'll plug it in and uh, we'll uh, test it out.